It is Sunday, August 21st at about 6.40 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I'm back at Wade Creek, but boy, fishing conditions are really nice. It's already 60 degrees. Uh, it's 6.40 in the morning. I'm in a t-shirt. So I think that's the first time I've come this early in a t-shirt. So that's awesome. One of those days where I just woke up, looked out the window, decided, okay, I think I'm going to go today. So I'm here at about a 3.1 tidal foot and it's going to high tide at about four and a half feet in about three hours so uh, i'm hopeful today i'm not as optimistic as the last time i was here uh, even though i did really really well last time at about the same tidal height so swell energy is forecasted to be in the 20s and i think this is the lowest forecast i've ever fished in i fished in 30s and 40s but i don't think 20s so swell height is supposed to be about one and a half feet. And the thing that I noticed on low energy days is that most of the waves are in casting distance. So that's always nice to see. But uh, I don't know if you can see the ocean out there, but you can see there's no crashing waves away out there. So I'm hoping that's a sign that the fish are close. And again, I'm coming at a tidal height of 3-1. And the last five times I've come, all my action has been in the 3.1 to about 3.9 feet of tidal height. So uh, I've had my best action uh, right south of my first landmark. I'm guessing with tide being kind of low today, I'm gonna hit rocks again. So that's why I'm hitting way south. And again, here's one of the things that I look for is how far away the water is from these green rocks. And I'd like it to be a little bit higher uh, but you know what? <laughs> I don't have control of that. So I'm hoping in the next hour things uh, will pick up in action, but I'm hoping to get action right off the bat. So catching conditions look okay, but with one and a half foot swells, uh, there's not a lot of crashing waves going on. Catching conditions where I am are okay. They're not great. And the reason why is there's this trough in front of me and I can see a sandbar where the waves are breaking and it's pretty shallow. And that's kind of where I'm casting into. See it. But I'm right now wading in kind of a trough and here's a sandbar in front of me. So as tide comes in, you know, maybe another hour, hour and a half that I'll be up there. I won't be here, but if you were up there fishing in an hour and a half, you'd be fishing this trough right behind the sandbar. And that would be a really optimal uh, place to put your rig, you know, in this whole trough area right here. So I'm moving south continually because I still haven't got any action and I'm south of my second landmark now and I can tell you the catch conditions here look so much better. Uh, these are the best conditions I've seen since I've been here in terms of having crashing waves one after another and having pretty uh, decently deep water. Finally just got my first bite. Uh, I am south of my second landmark. Uh, wasn't a super big bite, but hey, first action I've had, so I'm happy. I'm hoping on it as I move a little bit more south or as the tide's coming in now. I'm hoping the next 15 minutes to half an hour, uh, action's going to pick up. That's where I said I got my first bite, got my first fish. Uh, I rebid it right after I turned off my GoPro. Yeah, I'm saying this is, I think this is taco size. This one was close. Yeah, I think it's about a 9-incher. So top natural okay so it is oh, it's 10 inches again taco size uh first bite first fish it's been here 20 minutes just had a decent bite so that's two casts in a row now with bites but that was a decent bite much better than the first one even though it was a oh got it so i was gonna say that that bite was even better than the last one which is 10 inches feels a little bit bigger actually so again two casts in a row two fish uh looks like the uh, window's opening up right about now yeah this one's fighting this one's got a good tug to it it's on the bottom oh yeah this one this one's a decent one i'm guessing it's about 11 12 incher but the thing is it's heavy yeah this was a decent one it fills my hand pretty much it's a uh, 12 and a half incher so two bites in a row that was on the bottom natural so again it seems like they're going after the natural the last several times i've come i'm gonna go to three naturals 
Got a 10 incher, got a 12 and a half incher. So I'm very happy camper. I'm hoping I can get three in a row here. Man, what a gorgeous day. Uh, there's hardly any wind, it's very pleasant. Again, I'm in a t-shirt and fishing conditions can be more pleasant than they are right now. Catching conditions are again, they're okay, but hey, I just got two fish. But man, what a gorgeous way to be spending uh, Sunday morning on the Oregon coast. That time I had to wait a little bit though. And this one feels, again, this one feels pretty decent. But that's now three fish in a row on my last three casts. I'm guessing this is at least taco size, but it's given a pretty good fight. Top natural. So again, I went to three naturals. Okay, this one is 11 and a half. So again, three fish in a row. <laughs> Had to wait a little bit to get that bite though, but four casts in a row, four fish. Whoa, actually now it's starting to fight pretty well. Bottom, man, this one's, a, again, these are all decent taco sized fish. So four fish in a row. I don't think I've had four fish in a row in a long time. You know, I can't remember the last time I had four hookups in a row like this. It is 11 and a half. So again, my smallest one has been 10 and a half so far. Four fish in a row, can't ask for any better than that. And again, this is a tidal height theory I've been having. Um, I think I just got here a little bit too early on my first few casts, but Last four casts, four fish. So that would be five casts in a row where I've had really good bites. Well, actually the first cast was not a good bite, although I did get a fish. But these last four bites that I've gotten, they've been very aggressive bites. So that's five casts in a row now with bites. I was hoping for five fish in a row. Uh, no dice. Okay, so broke my bite streak at five. Didn't get anything on the last cast. Uh, been here now 50 minutes. I think I'm going to start working my way back to the parking lot because I wasn't really planning on staying very long and actually I wasn't even planning on coming out today until I woke up early. Okay, so my bite streak ended at five. Last two casts I've had zero action. Been here just about an hour now. Got in about 12 casts. I had those five bites in a row and other than that I've had no action but I'm calling it a day. So my first cast back to the parking lot, I was paying attention to my GoPro and I did a closed bail cast. Lost my spider weight. So I took off one of the hooks because I didn't have enough leader. So now I'm just using two hooks and a claw for my last two or three casts back to the parking lot. Still getting bites. Uh, if you see my rod, see my rod? Come on, keep going. Oh, got a fish. Oh man, I lost it, I think. But. Oh, I got it. So this would be fish, I want to say five. Yeah, I got four in a row. So again, first cast after I just retied it. I only got two hooks. And again, taco size. But I'm still heading out. <laughs> I'll take a couple more casts, but that's it. Yeah, this one's not a bad one. But man, uh, got the bite as soon as it hit the water. It's a 10 and a half incher. And again, I'm only on two hooks right now. Wow, this one's fighting really well. Action's pretty good right now. Oh yeah, this is another decent one. So this will be fish six, 11 inches. So my smallest one today, I think I had two at 10 and a half. So this is the third fish. Oh man, the left. Oh, I lo oh, nope, can't tell. Yeah, I lost it. Shoot, I think. No, I can still feel a jerk. So this would be three fish on the way back to the parking lot. It's my smallest one so far. So what is that? Seven fish today so far. Nine and a quarter. Fellow club member Randy Sherman texted me last night that he was coming out this morning, but he ain't here. And he's gonna kick himself once he sees my video. Because <laughs> he's missing a really good action of morning here. Randy now. We'll see uh, who it is, but I'm about ready to quit. <laughs> oh, just got another bite. Another fish. This is number four now. Like four in the last five casts. So this would be fish eight. 
Oh man, I lost it. Unless it's coming in with the wave. Yeah, I lost it. Shoot. That would have been fish eight. Whoever it is, I'm just waving them down. And again, I always start waving the people down if I'm uh, getting action. I just like to help other people out. But it looks like Randy to me. <laughs> yeah, it's Randy Sherman. Dude, you're late. How you doing, dude? Good, how about yourself? Okay. Got you uh, a few yet? Yeah, I, I, uh, I've already landed seven. I just had eight. Okay. I had like four bites in a row, but just fish on the left side of me. Because if you can go after high tide, conditions should be actually better. Because today the window was smaller in the morning than in the afternoon. In the afternoon, the window's bigger. Yeah. But action's been pretty good. Get your line in the water, man. You're gonna kick yourself when you see my video. Randy's first cast. Yep. So he literally just got here. Oh, you got it on the Berkeley. Yeah. So he actually bought a jig head with a Berkeley worm on it, and that's what he got it on. Well, that's just for that's your first time using that lure, right? First time. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna go buy more. <laughs> hey man, one cast, one fish. You came at the right time, hopefully. First fish, I had a really good bite as we were talking. So again, action's pretty decent right now. Oh, and the funny thing about Randy is when he caught his fish, he actually had two real baits on the top and he had a Berkeley jig head worm on the bottom and he got it on the Berkeley lure. And again, it was his first time ever using it. Uh, didn't get any bites on my last two or three casts. So I'm just heading back to the parking lot. I was actually on the process of quitting until I got those fish and then, well, hey, I got a bite. I just got a bite. Uh, so where was I? Oh yeah, so I, no action the last two or three, but I just got a bite just now and um, been here an hour and like I say, 35 minutes. I had bites on a lot of casts, but they seem to come in streaks. So hauled in seven fish. I had number eight on, but lost it. So anyway, I'm just walking back to my parking lot. Uh, Randy's gonna keep heading south, even though I just got a bite here. All right, I'll do a final summary once I get to the uh, creek. So again, I'm still walking my way back to the parking lot. I'm almost at my first landmark. So this would be fish eight. And it's a dink. And my top bait is gone as well. nine and a quarter so that's eight fish landed i had a ninth hookup so again i'm leaving and i'm just south of my first landmark so again action's good oh it's just got another bite but again action's good well, i'm just on my way out okay so i've been here about an hour 50 minutes now can't tell you how many casts i got and it had to be around 20 to 25 wow there's a big mole crab i just saw but at 20 to 25 casts Got eight fish, landed eight fish, had a ninth hookup. Uh, had four fish in a row, which I can't tell you the last time I pulled in four fish in a row. And then as I was leaving, I got three more fish by moving about 25 yards north. You saw Randy Sherman catch one on his very first cast. So again, the tidal height theory of coming between three and four feet, looks like it's continuing to work on the south side. You need to go south of my first landmark though. So all in all, it was a pretty good day. I mean, I can't remember the last time I landed eight fish, you know, in less than two hours. So a uh, pretty good day. And again, I landed about three of them on a double hook with a claw instead of my normal rig of three hooks and a spider. So again, action was pretty good. I had some really good bites today. So I don't know when I'm coming back, but if you do come back to Wade Creek, look at the tide tables, to come between three and four feet. I actually think fishing this afternoon, right after high tide is gonna be better than the fishing I just did. Cause it's got a longer um, tidal height window between three and four feet. So I actually think action's gonna be better this afternoon. All right, I'm headed back to watch the NFL preseason games. I know Georgia Maine is a big Cincinnati fan. They play today, they got killed last time I think. And then Tong Nguyen said he was gonna bet on the Giants. I haven't decided who I'm gonna bet on, but but I made decent money on the Niners and Raiders yesterday because uh, I bet on them a lot because I grew up in the Bay Area when they both had teams there. All right, that's it for today. Uh, sixth trip in a row between three and four feet. 
has produced some really good results. So I've been a pretty happy camper the last, you know, six trips, especially the last two. I paid a lot more attention to detail in the last two trips and I've done much better.